Hi everybody, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. You know, more and more people are becoming location independent these days. That means they can tour the country and work from the road in an RV. And we're going to meet one such RVer right now who explains that you don't have to be rich to be location independent. I'm Mark Fawcett, I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota, and I'm 49 years old, and uh, love getting out there and hitting the road. Uh, this is a 30-year-old road trek. It's a Dodge uh, Versatile Road Trek uh, 190, and I picked it up a while back. I uh, had about 83,000 miles on it, and uh, it's been fantastic. I've been able to just head out and, and go with it. How'd you find such an old RV in such great shape? You know, actually, I checked eBay and Craigslist every day for years, for about three years, and uh, finally got, um, finally found one that was a good, really good price, and so I jumped on it. And it was actually in my hometown. I didn't even have to travel to go get it, so it worked out great. Did you have to do a lot of work for it, with it? Uh, not too much. I've just had to uh, put a new radiator and a few things, but uh, it's been in. It's been in great shape. So that's my uh, sleeping area right there, and um, I even have my own personal little fireplace to keep it nice and cozy in here. Does that work well? It works great, and uh, it kind of gives it that nice cozy visual when you're going to sleep at night. I own my own um, tech support company, and uh, taking care of companies and homes for people with their computers. Um, I love the idea of uh, you know, being location independent and uh, being able to do work from the road. I wish I could do all of my work from the road. I would, uh, <laughs> I'd be out on the road all the time. Uh, but uh, uh, still, sometimes things come up with clients on weekends, so I'm able to take care of it from uh, my, I have a Verizon jetpack for data connection and can work on my uh, Mac laptop and uh, and do some of my work uh, from, from anywhere. So I love that. And then just set up the table here in the road trek and pull over, set up the table, and do some work, and then go on with the trip. How many people are like you out there, do you think? Um, you know what, I think it's becoming the biggest uh, aspect of RV travel now. There's so many, now that it's no longer just older folks uh, getting RVs and getting out there, um, there's so many uh, younger people that are doing it, and they are millennials and uh, that that have uh, great jobs that they can do from anywhere with a laptop. Graphic designers, um, all sorts of people, marketing, all sorts of people that often work from home anyway, so why not do it uh, and go explore this amazing country that we have. So You know, it's such a great way to do it, to be able to get out there and see everything and enjoy it while you're young and healthy and uh, you know, life is really too short and to be able to get out there and experience life um, and see, we, we don't see enough of this country. It's a big country and there's a lot to see. So to be able to do it while you have that freedom, you don't, you're not tied down to lots of bills and, and for maybe for people that don't even have kids yet, uh, what an amazing way to just be so independent out on the road. And um, it just makes a lot of sense to do it while you're young rather than later in life when you're retirement age, which is still obviously a wonderful thing. But uh, man, if you can get out there and work from the road when you're younger, I, I can't think of anything better. I so agree with Mark. In fact, I wish we started our RVing much earlier. Mark shows us you don't have to spend a fortune to get started. There are some great deals out there on used RVs. You just have to be persistent. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. We want to thank you for watching this video. Please, before you go, do us a big favor and subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube.